Welcome. Uh, yeah, so I told myself it's first of all it's almost 2 a.m. nine minutes to uh, it's past <coughs> past the point where I want to sleep. Um, had some coffee because I felt no matter what I did. I would not be able to sleep, so I had some coffee, so I'm extremely tired, and I thought I'd start with this, because um, I played this uh, song that I'm trying to learn with these chords uh, shortly before I went for a cigarette, so it's fresh in my mind, and uh, I may be too tired to really function properly, but we will see. part of the song. Okay, so it goes like... And then we move up here, but we're supposed to do it quickly, which I don't think we are capable of doing. So, this really requires me to push. sure that ring finger moves over. So I basically have to get really comfortable going from here. That's the first three strums. It's, well, let me get the solid again. frustrating for you to watch, but I actually was learning something there. Um, sorry if it didn't sound good, and now I just realized I'm supposed to shut up and let the work speak for itself, but this is a practice video, and that was definitely me practicing. So, you know, whatever. I 
is basically the sustain is all the way up. But it sounds really weird with it off, like... Maybe if it's just in the middle. Yeah, maybe, okay. I'm just thinking. Like, this is... This is it in the middle. This is it all the way here. And you hear that sustain. So in the middle, the middle, which is the middle? Yeah, that has some sustain. And then here. And the tone's off. And all the knobs are down except for the volume. Well, I don't, I don't know. That, that time's the most real. I don't, I don't know how you define real on the guitar, but... First of all, it's like this. And it's like this. So how do I do it over here? I think I do it like that. Yeah, so we'll do it like this. That was kind of fun because uh, the problem was more about positioning and um, once I knew the position, my fingers performed what they were supposed to do. Uh, you know what? The, we don't have to go through all the chords in a specific order every time. We can go back to this and try to learn it better. So, good. Good idea with this one is to push with your thumb behind the fretboard, which I think you're supposed to be doing anyways. physically move my finger. Keep my arm out. Okay, so we're muted. 
including the second string again, which is the same problem I had when I thought the middle finger was supposed to be there. Now that I know it's not supposed to be there, it's not quite as difficult, but... Anyways, I'm not completely in touch with uh, my body at the moment. I'm a little bit too tired for that. Um, so, and my friend told me practicing while tired isn't um, bad for you necessarily, it's just not effective. So I, I, I hope me practicing right now has some effect in uh, my learning of the guitar overall. So, G. used to be so specific about, um, you know, I thought the less you thought about it, the easier it was to get. Right now it's not cooperating. Let's just do the simple key. a lot of sustain on it for some reason. I don't know what's causing the sustain. So. Okay, there's something wrong with my muscles tonight. I don't know what's happening. Let's go back to E. this thing changes how high the strings are. So let's put it all the way down and maybe it'll be easier. I don't know what is my problem tonight. Well, okay. Let's just do easier things then. Basically needs to be in the right place. I'm glad the guitar is going up instead of down. Okay, we'll just chalk that off to being too tired and we won't try, what is it, uh, B7 and B major for that matter. Um, and what was the other one that, C7. So B7 and C7 are off the practice list. We'll do something simple. I can see the spotlight, uh, street lamp from my window over there. Uh, if I had more energy, I'd pick up the camera and show you, but it doesn't really matter. So yes. Well, I can 
can do E minor <laughs> in pretty much any state. I can do all of E. <laughs> um, and oh yeah, A. Ever since I figured out what is it, um, what did I figure out? Oh, A major 7. I keep forgetting A minor. Turning this knob is getting kind of addictive, <laughs> and uh, I, I'm not sure it's uh, making a consistent sound depending on where it's turned. Um, and like I said in other videos, maybe it's the amp or something. Uh, let's. We haven't done any C. Strumming's just not adequate, I think. My fingers aren't adequate to give a proper strum. Even though I like the concept of using my fingers. Uh, so, what is this? This is G6. And this is C major 7. I'm a little out of my head, but half of me says that sounds right and half of me says that is wrong. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's very sensitive too, maybe because I'm so close to the amp. Or I mean, like, closer than, I don't know. Okay, so, can we handle doing G major 7? for the major sevens. We don't have E major seven. We have G major seven, A major seven, D major seven, C major seven. Uh, I'm not even sure why I'm counting because I don't know what the number should be <laughs> off the top of my head. Did we do F7 yet? I think we did F7, but let's do it again. May as well. Uh, two. And just as I'm complaining about the strumming, uh, the strumming sounds better now. Uh, when this is done, I'm going to go out on the front porch and smoke a cigarette. Actually, yeah, the thing is, like, uh, the front porch, um, I think opening the door is disturbing my parents who are trying to sleep. So if I can use the back door, the reason I was using the front was because it was raining. And you don't really need to know that. 
And uh, I think that's everything on the chart, except for the ones I specifically said I, I'm not going to cover. So... I don't know how somehow I, I'm able to do that without looking at which strings I'm plucking, but looking at which frets I'm fretting. Um, so I think that's a skill I developed, and I'm not sure at, one, at what point that happened. <laughs> all of that stuff and yeah I think I'm too tired to really work on the song that I started with so it basically it's still Tuesday for me Tuesday on six hours of sleep and um, you're going to be seeing this Wednesday because technically it's 2 a.m. so it is Wednesday and also probably most of you or I'm guessing you're going to see it during the daylight hours but keep in mind it's night and I have not slept enough. I don't know if you can hear that weird tapping. It's probably water. ourselves after all that coffee and we can listen to those sounds. Uh, well, we're not going to be listening to what you hear now. Um, we're going to be listening to music. But, uh, yeah, my basement makes noise at night. And if you've watched this far, you know that. Um, so. withdraw um, uh, anti-anxiety just putting it off as late as I can so maybe you hear nothing maybe
you can transition easily in, in and out of. Um, yeah, there's a C that's like this, like, I don't know, this, this, and like, I don't even know how you get your finger there. <laughs> this, this, and it's basically impossible as far as I know, which is why, I mean, impossible for someone at my skill level my dexterity and blah 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 so which is why I do this C minor Sing a song about not worrying. Go back to G major. So, yeah, for a long time I couldn't do G major, and then I did it like solid for like five days or something and I even did it today or since I've been awake but just right now it's not working and it's almost like like it feels like magic the fact that sometimes something's really difficult and you try to uh, make it happen and then suddenly it happens and you're not sure what's different and it could come down to how messed up my fingers have gotten um, and you want them messed up. So yeah, I, I think I said I was going to have the video 10 minutes, no, 5 minutes ago, so but I actually am ending it now. <laughs>